15 million views. What? Let me take a sip to that. Y'all see my little podcast mic. What's up guys, Dr. Niche here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Ask Dr. Niche Nation. I'm so excited to have you here. Please do not forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of the cool things that I have coming up. But first things first, can we get a round of applause? Because your girl just hit 100,000 followers. 100,000 followers on Instagram. What? Good morning, y'all, and happy content day. Today is a very, very exciting day because I finally get to create content for hitting 100,000 followers on Instagram. We are heading to Party City to get some balloons. So yes, I'm that type of influencer who wants balloons because I deserve the 100K balloons behind me as I take a picture and shoot some content. I deserve that and that's what I'm going to do. So call it being a follower, following the trends. If you hit 100,000, you'd be doing the same thing. So I kind of already have an idea of what type of balloons I want. Of course, I want the 100 and then a K. I also want to get some like party poppers because I have this idea for a reel where I pop the party favors and then I switch to a different outfit. Y'all know I love transitions. And then I switch to a different outfit with the 100K behind me. Like I just have this like really dope idea. It is hot out here. Florida is something different. It's not even 10 a.m. Boy, it's actually 10.30 a.m. And it's 90 degrees. It is hot. But balloons are here. My hat all crooked. They was trying to fight me to get in this car. And we are headed home. So we're officially back from Party City and now I'm ready to shoot my content. So first things first, makeup. <laughs> Alright content baddies, so makeup is done, y'all saw the process, now we're going to get dressed and then we'll talk about the scene and kind of what I'm thinking of when it comes to actually shooting the content. Babe is making eggs for breakfast. It's hard to me to tell how far away I am. She's very awkward when she's trying no, I'm not. He's making avocado toast with eggs. We just got our Instacart order. So I'm actually gonna help him put this food away first. And then um, he's gonna help me shoot some content after we eat. So what I've learned over the years of shooting content with my husband is that it's really important to debrief and let him know exactly what I want before I do it. That just makes everything so much more seamless, right? I'm not getting upset. We're not arguing because he's not getting the shot the way I wanted him to get it because how would he know how I want it if I never tell him what I want? So I always like to play that sound for him so he knows exactly what sound it is, which is this one. I just put the switch. Flip. 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 Very simple, very simple, but this is a transition reel. So what I'm thinking is first scene, doctor outfit, I'm gonna have my ring light in front and it's like I'm shooting content. So the header is gonna be like point of view when your hard work finally pays off. And then when I was at Party City, I bought these confetti poppers. And so what I want to do is kind of, oh. Hey. I almost burned the house down. So what I wanna do is pull it like out of my pocket and then shoot the confetti, shoot the confetti popper. Yes, it's gonna be a mess to clean up. I'm gonna say, who cleaned this up? We have a vacuum cleaner. And then, so that's scene number one. Scene number two, so the confetti popper, like the confetti is gonna go into the camera lens. And so then scene number two, I'm gonna pop another confetti popper, but in my second outfit, which will be my blazer dress. And it will have the 100K behind it. And so that's like scene one, but as you can hear, it's like doom, 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 doom. So it's like a little bit longer. Second scene is I want you and I pouring like champagne, like, like cheersing together because like he was definitely a part of this entire journey. He shoots my content, he takes my pictures, like, so I'm going to celebrate with him as well. So that's what I'm thinking. So today we will be shooting in the living room, but I want to move some of the 
couch pieces around. So I just have this grand idea of like me standing in the middle, transition, 100K behind me. Like I have a really good idea, but I need... He almost tried to kill my camera. Look how much bigger the space looks now because we don't have that piece of couch back there. This is gonna be beautiful. All right, so first things first, I have my scrubs on and I was about to shoot the first scene, but I'm kind of OCD. So before I shoot the first scene, I wanna make sure I like what the second scene's gonna look like. So we're gonna untie these balloons to kind of set them up to make sure that I like how the 100K looks in the frame before I shoot the first scene. Because 100K is the most important thing. So, Potty City only gave me two weights and I had to pay for them. So we got some cans of tikka marsala and butter chicken curry sauce that we're going to tie to the bottom of the balloon so that we can separate them so i ended up changing and doing my blazer first because we got the numbers exactly how we wanted them and in the first scene i'm not going to have the numbers up so i did this first i need champagne or something not yet baby i'm gonna bust it first and then you come in you're not Okay, I got scared. Okay. That was good. Let me get a little bit more. You're not dancing or nothing. Is that not what you do? So our 100K, the first scene of my 100K video is done. I'm currently on my phone because my camera it's is here. Use. It's in use and I really don't want to move it since this is a transition reel. So that camera is staying exactly where it is, but I am going to go change it, put on my scrubs for the first part and then we can get these balloons out of the way. I like it. I'm all, I'm all for it. I just flipped the switch. So first scene is shot and I'm hoping it turned out well. I always get super nervous when I do transitions because sometimes like the lighting might be off or like I'm standing in the wrong spot and I'm already cleaning up. And if I don't already edit it, I'm not gonna shoot it again. So as of right now, I think it looked pretty good. So I'm really excited to show you guys the finished product. And um, now we're gonna clean up. I should say I'm going to clean up all this confetti and then um, I'm thinking about shooting a little bit more actually the intro to this YouTube video while I still have my makeup done. So that's the importance of a content batching day. You just literally do everything. So I knew I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to shoot two YouTube videos and I also knew that I wanted to shoot at least three reels and I want to go take some pictures but I'm waiting for a blazer dress to come. It's supposed to be delivered today. So I'm waiting for that dress to come before I take the pictures because I want, of course, the pictures to be in that dress. And then that's about it. Y'all, we had a very, very long day of content creation. As you can see, I guess you can't see it, with my jammies and I'm chilling on the couch. Let me get my purse out of the way. So next steps for me is I like to sit and binge watch Grey's Anatomy while editing my videos. So I use my iPad actually to edit my videos here. So I used to always do it on my phone, but I kept running out of space and I was like, okay, I already have a MacBook Air and it's okay, but I need like something that's a nice in between where I can still edit my stuff. Um, and just use it solely for editing. So I bought myself an iPad with a lot, a lot, a lot of storage and I upload all my videos there. And from there I can still use the apps like InShot or VN Video Editor and even CapCut to edit my videos. So I'm going to work on that now as I binge watch Grey's Anatomy, you guys can see it here. It is already up there and ready to go. So let's go ahead and edit. And then I will show you guys the final product soon. Hey guys, so I ended up falling asleep watching Grey's Anatomy. So I 
am just now editing this video and we're going to edit it together Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna put it right here. So I um, ended up just getting up, washing my face, getting my life together, taking my makeup off, and I'm ready to edit. And of course, I went and grabbed my blue light glasses because I'm gonna be on my screen for a while. And be sure to click below for my line of blue light eyewear so you can also protect your eyes when you do this. So we're gonna be using InShot. I'm gonna be screen recording. So since this is just an easy transition reel, we're just gonna go ahead and use InShot. If it was, if it's like a tougher reel, I'll use like VN Video Editor, um, but this is just a quick transition reel, so we're gonna use InShot. So we're gonna go grab our clips, and we always upload our clips, and then we also grab the sound. So because I am on VN, because I am using InShot, I also screen record the sound from Instagram so I can put the sound into InShot so I can make sure I'm having everything lined up properly. Let me see. I just flip the switch. So I'm going to add that to InShot and I'm going to edit it to where the song actually starts. So I didn't show that I screen recorded it, but I did screen record it from Instagram. Like super simple. You just play, go to your save sounds. You play the sound, you screen record it, and then use that screen recorded video and extract the audio from that screen recorded video as your audio. So now we have our audio in there and all we do now is line everything up. All right, so of course we are going to realign our videos because if you remember, we're gonna start with the scrubs and then we're gonna transition into that blazer dress outfit with the 100K behind us. So I'm gonna play this. That's the part I want. I'm going to delete the part I don't want. Good. So it's lining up properly. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the audio from my videos. I'm going to hit apply all. Perfect. Beautiful. So it was right on the beat already. So I'm going to trim it right where it's coming out, covering my face and then delete the rest because remember the transition is going to go to me being in the blazer dress so we're going to find that part right there where it's just opening right there perfect delete the extra let's see how it looks oh that's beautiful did y'all see that i know y'all just saw that that was beautiful i'll play it again Beautiful. So I love that. So I don't have to change anything else when it comes to that transition. It looks great. But if you remember, I said um, I also took some shots of Chad and I, and we're going to be kind of cheersing champagne, right? So let's see. I kind of want to stop it there. I want to delete the rest. And now I'm going to go grab the video of Chad and I. All right. So now we're going to try to find parts in this video of Chad and I that I want to add in. Like, ooh, that's a good part right there. And I'm probably gonna make that slow motion because I feel like that will look really nice. And let's also turn the sound off of everything else. I don't wanna hear that. But there was another scene where I was kinda, oh, this is good right here. Yes. Oh yeah, this is it. So I actually want to put this first. That's good. Beautiful. And then there was a scene, oh, that little twirl, that twirl is it. Yep. So we're going to start right here. Let's trim this. Beautiful. I like that actually. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need to see my feet. So we're going to delete the rest of this. But this twirl is really nice. So what I also like on InShot is they have like curves or preset curves that you can use in terms of speeding it up or slowing it down. Like look, I don't gotta do no work. That's beautiful, we're gonna add that. I think I wanna speed this part up. So I don't have to do a curve for this. I'm just gonna put it at two. I 
I don't want this that slow actually. And then, oh, that cheers is nice. So this right here should be the ending scene. I like that. So let's delete the rest. Cheers. That's beautiful. The rest is gone. So let's make it shorter. Let's see what we have. This can be shorter right here. Right there. We want to split that, delete it. Let's see what we have. That's really good. So here is the final product. I just flipped the switch. We are done. That is it. This is beautiful. As y'all can tell, I get really excited about my content. Like very, very excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this Content Sunday vlog here. So thank you so, 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 so much for spending the day with me. You saw the entire process of how, of course, I think about different content ideas, how I set things up, how I execute it, going to Party City, talking to my husband about how I want things to be shot. Like this has literally been an amazing content Sunday. And some things you didn't see, I did shoot some more YouTube videos that will be coming out soon. So if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you know all of the good stuff that is coming up. Um, and on top of that, comment below if you liked this content Sunday. So I'm trying to figure out what works best for y'all. I'm here to create content for you. So please comment below if you enjoyed this content Sunday. I want to start creating more YouTube videos surrounding the reels I post on Instagram to kind of show the behind the scenes. And if you want more information about how I create my reels and how you can also create amazing reels too, please check out my Reel Boss course. It gives you everything you need to know about how to create amazing Instagram reels like I do. You'll get your ebook, you'll get some content Sunday courses, you'll get some transition courses. You're gonna get literally everything, okay? Everything that you need to create amazing reels. But I wanna say thank you so much again for spending this Sunday with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.